it was Baltimore in the accident and that he was he didn't make it. The family of Baltimore Flores, Jamie, speaking out after he was killed while riding his motorcycle down I-10 last Sunday. That's right. Unfortunately, Jaime was struck by multiple vehicles. His family says it's an accident that should have never happened. The night team Stephen Cavazos shows us how they're turning their loss into a message for other drivers. It's devastating because he's not here. His presence, his smile. Martha Jaime is looking back at her time with her husband, Baltimore Flores Jaime, a man described as full of life. One of his favorite hobbies was riding his motorcycle, something she says he'd been doing for over 40 years. He loved riding. He, he loved going out on a beautiful day. And, and that's exactly what he did on November 3rd when he took a day trip to Austin to watch a race event. But it was a trip he would never return from. His wife recalls waiting hours to hear back from him. She called her daughter, worried something had happened. I told her your dad's not here. You know, something's wrong. And she was right. Jaime was riding his motorcycle back home when he was struck by a car on I-10 near Trainer Hale Road late Sunday night. Deputies with the Bear County Sheriff's Office said Jaime flew off his bike before being struck by several other vehicles. His family says his death was tragic, but no, he would want them to stay strong. I know he wouldn't want us to be mourning and crying for so long. He'd want us to press on. Adriana Carey is hoping to turn her father's loss into a message for other drivers. What other motorists I feel need to understand that they, we need to share the road. It's something her father would always say. They want to get home just like just like us. The family remains in disbelief, but they're holding on to memories of a man who they say was their rock. He had a good heart mm -hmm. and a good soul, and he had a beautiful smile, and he loved his family. Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News.